plenty of expectations about the 2014 brand of the Panthers. They'd travel to Amy Park without Jamie Sauer to face a storm side celebrating a couple of milestone men. Boys, very simply, we say congratulations and thank you. A bit of rust in Cooper Cronk's first touch of the year, caught on the last, but it wasn't long before normal service resumed. Cronk will take control. Dummies inside, goes outside, and the storm score through Kevin Proctor. Melbourne would double its lead moments later, with Penrith unable to deal with a storm set play down the right. Round the back, Slater. The stormer in for a second. They've let the ball do the work, and it looks so pretty in doing it. The Panthers down by eight, but they'd set up camp in the Storm's 20, stretching the defence to come up with their first. It's on here for the Panthers. White to Naguama. It's taken 25 and a half minutes, but the Panthers are on the scoreboard. But the Storm would immediately strike back. On to Fenua. He goes to Wana. That is a beautifully constructed Melbourne Storm try. An uncharacteristic error from Billy Slater would again open the door for Penrith. They go to the right through Wallace. Idris Naguama collects a double. So easy for the Panthers. The visitors had enjoyed a glut of possession and territory, just millimetres denying Kevin Naguama a first half hat trick before a Cameron Smith penalty gave the Storm a little more breathing space. Melbourne leading Penrith 14 points to 10 at half time. The Panthers would hit the ground running after half time, stretching the storm on the right before striking on the left. And over the top, up and under. Moylan there, he spins it. This is beautiful from the Panthers. Josh Mansour going to extraordinary lengths to keep the ball in his right hand. Unconventional may be, ultimately successful in drawing his side level. The Panthers would continue to press. In one side, out the other. One on one with Billy Slater. A professional foul earning Billy Slater a stint in the bin and handing Penrith the lead. As Peter Wallace lines it up. But Slater's absence wouldn't cost the storm. In fact, they'd draw level through a penalty. He likes this one. With the rain tumbling and another golden point extra time looming, star half Cooper Cronk stepped up to make a point of his own. Field goal! The storm lead. With five and a half to go. It wasn't pretty, but it just snuck in. But it wasn't enough. Peter Wallace squared the ledge. Still with a drop of his own. Wallace it. secures it. We're yep. locked at 17. And just as it looked headed for the golden decider, a piece of Cameron Smith brilliance. Cameron Smith buys the sideline. It handed his side possession and another crack at the sticks. 20 metres back, centre field. He has a crack and gets it. The Storm wins here in Melbourne. Peter Wallace would have a long range chance to snatch victory in the dying seconds, but it would drift wide. Melbourne surviving another thriller for back-to-back -back wins. 18 points to 17 over Penrith. David Murdoch, NRL.com.